Mattel. What's up cereal heads? Today we're going to talk about Hot Wheels cereal. This cereal was released by Ralston back in 1990, but before I get into it, I guess I gotta explain what Hot Wheels are to those who may be unfamiliar with it. Hot Wheels are just a brand of die-cast toy cars made by Mattel. They were first created in 1968, and the first series of cars released by Hot Wheels were these 16 die-cast cars, known by collectors as the Sweet 16. Hot Wheels' main competitor was Matchbox, another toy car company created back in 1953. The competition between these two companies finally came to to an end in 1997 when Mattel bought Tyco Toys, the then owner of Mashbox Cars. There have been so many models of Hot Wheels cars produced throughout the years, there's too many to even count. I can't even estimate how many models they've made over the years. I know there's some serious Hot Wheels collectors out there that make my cereal box collecting look like small potatoes. But I guess maybe they hit their peak popularity in the late 80s because that's around the time when Ralston decided to pair with Hot Wheels to release this cereal. Now, a few things about this box. First, you know it was from the late 80s and early 90s because it says no tropical oils up here and that was something that was very important to parents around this time. Second, you can tell this is the first version of the box because it says new on here. And lastly, there's a free Hot Wheels car included inside this box. For some of you younger viewers, believe it or not, they actually used to put fun toys and prizes inside cereal boxes. Now you can see from the description here on the front of the cereal, it's frosted oat mag wheels with marshmallow cars. So that's basically Lucky Charms, but at least they made the oat pieces look different and car related, and they made different shaped marbits in different colors. In fact, here on the side of the box, they tell you what the four cars are. There's a yellow convertible, a purple van, an orange pickup truck, and a red racer. Then on the back of the box, they just tell you again about the free Hot Wheels car inside this box. It still drives me crazy that we don't have toys inside cereal boxes anymore. The price of cereal continues to go up and you get less for your money because you don't get cool prizes or toys inside. Man, I miss my childhood. Now, before we get to opening this box, I want to show you a commercial for this cereal, but I have to warn you the only commercial I was able to find online is a really poor quality one. Almost looks like it was a handheld camera recording a television set. But here, take a look. I apologize again for the quality. All right, so this is a full box. Let's open it up and take a look. Aha, I see the car inside. There it is. Let's take it out of the plastic and get a better look at it. So there you go. It's like a turquoise blue colored car. Uh, it's got Goodyear written on the side there. I'm not sure what model car this is because I'm not a car guy, but for those who know, please let me know down in the comments. And sure, I mean, it's a cheap little toy car, but it's better than getting nothing inside a cereal box, right? So here's what a bowl of Hot Wheels cereal looks like. The frosted oat mag wheels look cooler than just plain Cheerio oat pieces. And you can see the marbits are all shriveled up and discolored, but let's get a better look at those cars. This one here is the Red Racer. And I think one of those is the yellow Corvette and one of them is the orange pickup truck. And then I actually can't even find a purple van in there. So maybe that one's just become so discolored and so shriveled up that it doesn't even exist anymore. But again, if you're gonna knock off Lucky Charms, I do appreciate you changing the shapes up to fit the Hot Wheels brand. These mag wheels are kinda cool. So this Hot Wheels cereal was discontinued about a year after it was released. It didn't last on shelves very long. Maybe they were giving away too many free cars. Who knows? But about 16 or 17 years later, Kellogg's paired with Hot Wheels to release another limited edition cereal based on the toy cars. I feel like this one came and went even quicker than the original because I can barely find any evidence or pics of this stuff online. But I remember when it hit shelves in 2007 because I was very excited to get more free toy cars. Then of course I realized it was 2007 and they didn't include prizes in cereal boxes anymore. So as you can see on the front of this box, this one's very similar to the original. It says sweetened, not frosted oat cereal and car shaped marbits. But since it's Kellogg's, they put the least amount of effort they could into the cereal, making the oat pieces just Cheerio shaped and all the marbits look to be the same shape, just different colors. On the back of this box, they have collector cards that you can cut out. There were six on each box and you could collect all 12. I've never been a fan of cutouts on cereal boxes, mainly because I don't want to ruin my boxes. Just give me a toy inside or some games to play. I don't need cutout collector cards. And look inside, Hot Wheels trivia on the back of each card. Lame. All right, let's open this one up and take a look at the cereal. So here's what a bowl of 2007 Hot Wheels cereal looks like. You can see it's underwhelming compared to the original version with the cool mag wheel shapes. 
At least these Marbits are still brightly colored because this cereal is only like 10 years old. But the cars are all the same shapes. Really, Kellogg's? You couldn't use different shaped Marbits? And again, this stuff tasted like a knockoff Lucky Charms, though not as sweet and not as good. It's actually a really similar formula to other Kellogg's licensed cereals that use no imagination or creativity. And as I said, this cereal was limited edition, so it was only on shelves for about a year or so before they pulled it. And real quick before I go, there's one more cool tidbit about Hot Wheels and cereal. They actually had a series of Hot Wheel cars in 2004 called Cereal Crunchers. It consisted of five cereal-themed Hot Wheels cars. There was a Frankenberry Corvette, a Lucky Charms Ghostbuster 8 crate type car, a Trick 64 Lincoln Continental, a Honey Nut Cheerio 71 Plymouth GTX, and a Cocoa Puff 67 Pontiac GTO. And those weren't even the only cereal Hot Wheels ever released. They've done countless other pairings throughout the years, including different cereals, different cars, different mascots. I have this cool Booberry Hot Wheels they released a few years ago. And even though I'm not a Hot Wheels collector, I'm definitely tempted to pick up some more of these cereal cars. But as far as these boxes go, I don't think we'll see another Hot Wheels cereal. However, Mattel and Warner Brothers are supposedly developing a live action Hot Wheels movie. I have no idea what that would even be. But Mattel has been trying to develop their own Mattel cinematic universe for quite a while now. Personally, I wouldn't hold my breath on the Hot Wheels movie ever coming to fruition, but hey, maybe if it does, we will get another cereal tie-in. You know what cereal would have sold really well in stores? A Fast and Furious cereal that included free toy cars in each box. I feel like they really missed a golden opportunity with that one. All right, well, that's going to do it for Hot Wheels cereal. As always, thank you for watching, and until next time, stay crunchy. Vroom! Vroom!